Um, we have on our Google Plus uh, Hangout uh, Daniel Satone from Rome. Dan, would you like to introduce yourself and um, tell us a few words about what's going on in your community? Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry, but I had uh, some problems uh, at the beginning, so I lost some parts of the speech of uh, Dan. However, uh, I would like to in introduce myself. I am now I'm uh, a senior international vice president of NEBRIT International, and uh, I'm a member of the NEBRIT from uh, many years, uh, like uh, between 15, 20 years. And uh, I would like to say some things about the UN vote uh, that uh, Dan spoke about, uh, in particular uh, about what happened uh, in Italy uh, on that vote. Uh, because here we were really disappointed about the vote uh, in general, but in particular for the Italian vote. In fact, uh, Italy voted uh, yes, and uh, we were really surprised by this uh, Italian decision. Because in the last years, uh, the relations between uh, Italy and Israel were really friendly. And in this kind of situations, Italy always voted in support of Israel. So uh, it, it was a, a really a surprise, uh, for uh, a bad surprise for us. So in the Jewish community, there was uh, a big discussion about that vote. Uh, the majority criticized the, the vote uh, of the Italian government. But not really, not all really uh, uh, were against this uh, decision uh, because some say that it was also uh, useful for uh, uh, Israel and for the, and for the peace. Uh, however, the, the community of Rome, uh, of which uh, I belong to, uh, had a very tough position against uh, the government. And I want to, to, uh, to say also about uh, um, statement that was made by Fiamma Nierstein. Uh, she's a member of the Italian Parliament uh, uh, and uh, she's also a member of our uh, Bnebrit Lodge of Rome. And she said that the, that the government took a position that was uh, different from the indication uh, uh, of the Parliament. Uh, because the uh, position of the Parliament in the past, in the past uh, um, uh, resolutions of the UN and in the other uh, resolution similar to that one uh, had always uh, another another position. So the government uh, took this, this this decision uh, not according to the to the Italian Parliament. Uh, so there was a big a big. Uh, 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 discussion also inside the parliament, but uh, unfortunately just uh, after the, the vote, so it was not possible to change, uh, to change it. Another thing that uh, uh, I want to say today, uh, because today, uh, as you know, is the Holocaust Remembrance Day, uh, and I want to say that today, this evening, uh, in Rome, the light of the Colosseum will be switched off to the uh, will be switched off uh, in solidarity with the Hungarian Jews who are suffering for a very strong anti-Semitism. Uh, so um, we would like to use uh, this day not only to remember what happened in the past, but also to uh, highlight what's, what is happening uh, around Europe uh, now. Uh, because uh, we decided to, uh, to um, speak about the uh, the situation of the Hungarian Jews, uh, because uh, uh, you will remind that just two months ago, uh, a member of the Hungarian Parliament uh, from a far right a far right party asked to the government to have the list of the Jews who are in the Parliament and who are in the uh, government of Hungary. Uh, so uh, uh, we believe that uh, we need to raise this uh, uh, this issue in particular uh, today. Well, thank you so much, Daniel. Um, does anybody have any questions for Daniel? You can either chat them, or if you're on video, you can ask directly. I'll make a follow-up statement as well. In addition to our work in Europe, B'nai B'rith has a thriving community in Latin America, and this month we're having a number of Holocaust remembrance programs down in Latin America in numerous countries. 
There'll be more information about those on the Benebrith website. And uh, the event that Dan spoke about earlier, we have that videotaped, and we're going to throw that on YouTube this week as well. So we'll be able to share that with folks on YouTube and on our Facebook page. But as Rebecca said, if anybody has any questions for Dan um, or anybody else on the panel, please uh, feel free to type them, and we will read them out loud.